So uh, Prophet Judy made a stir in the, on the stage there with Jim Nance. He's talking a little bit about trying to get that microphone away from you, trying to get from him. How much fun were you having up there on the stage getting everyone fired up? Um, man, it was a blast. It was a blast. It was a feeling I had never felt before. Um, and then in terms of uh, trying to steal the mic, I wasn't trying to steal the mic. I just didn't want uh, Nance to take it away before I hit the punchline, right? So it was, it was just a little bit of a uh, little bit of excitement. Yeah, not, not so much a tug of war, just making sure that I got everything out that I needed. How long have you been sitting on that Beastie Boys reference? I mean, it was, uh, it was playing all day. A lot of people think I just came up with that on the spot, but uh, we play that song after every time we score a touchdown. So it was, uh, and we scored quite a few uh, these, these past two weeks. Um, so it was kind of just stuck in my head, and it felt like uh, the timing was right. Last year, talked the about the, our, the best tight ends in the game in this Super Bowl. What do you think about George Kittle, and if you admire any skill from him? I mean, it's uh, just about everybody in the world thinks the world of George Kittle. Uh, he's, a, he's an unbelievable person, create an unbelievable amount of energy. Uh, how he plays the game with the tenacity is uh, its one of a kind, man. It's special. Have you met George, and did you see similarities in your game and your personality with his? Um, I think we're both, uh, we're both positive guys. Um, we're both, we both love to play the game. At the same time, we both love life. And uh, with that comes um, a lot of responsibility in the, in the tight end room to be um, not just a uh, one-dimensional player, be a be a, almost a utility guy in the locker room, or whatever the team needs. That's what we're capable of doing. Um, in terms of similarities, I do believe uh, the run after catch is something that um, that I've 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 been able to have a knack for since I've been in the league, and obviously since since Kittle's been in the league, he's taken that to a whole nother level. Hey, Travis, uh, you were here a few years ago when the Royals made that run, I, and you were around the city. What, what do you remember about that run? And, what the city is like when it's another championship. You know. um, how much this city rallies around the sports is uh, it's second to none. And that's why I love being here. Um, I want to play here for my entire career because of the, the type of support we get from this community. And then on top of that, um, how crazy it gets on Sundays, man. It's, uh, it never gets old. Did, did you let your mind wander at that point to think, hey, it's blue now, but what potentially it could be and the Chiefs made it? No, but everybody else let me know. <laughs> How much advice your brother give you about getting to the Super Bowl, preparing for all that? Um, he, uh, I haven't really talked to him too much about it. Um, I, I got a, a special experience uh, to be able to kind of um, follow my brother very closely throughout uh, the two weeks that he had going through his Super Bowl. Um, kind of be a fly on the wall in a lot of different ways. And um, just hearing him talk about it, I mean, you just there's so many distractions uh, as, as everybody knows, um, it's a crazy week in Miami. You can amp everything up a whole ten times, and uh, you just got to be able to to sort through the the real and 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 be able to be there for your teammates uh, in the building with the right mindset every single day. Travis, how will you spend the next forty eight hours between uh, now and the time you head to Miami? Um, being right here in this facility, working and, and trying to figure out how to beat the Niners. I mean, that's uh, that's been my mindset ever since we won the game uh, last week. And you know what? I uh, I don't see that mindset changing. You got two weeks to, to uh, for the biggest game of my life, right? So uh, and uh, and the clock's ticking. What was it like to have your brother out on the field? Is he going to be part of next week with you, like you were with him? Yeah, right now he's uh, he's got the family down in Orlando. So he'll uh, after the Pro Bowl he'll ma he'll make his way down to South Florida, and we'll have some uh, we'll have some fun. The, uh, you always talk close with Eric Hosmer at the time. Did any of the Royals reach out to you? Have they reached out to you? A few, a few of the Royals now and Big Haas uh, gave me a shout on, Twitter, on uh, Instagram and let me know, you know, what, the boys are rallying and it's time for us to, to bring one home for the city. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Have Thanks, a good guys. one, guys. Stay warm.